Hello everyone, are you ready to unlock true vertical video with your Osmo Pocket 3? I have a hidden trick that will enable you to get the most out of your Osmo when shooting vertical video. Hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. A lot of people have been shooting vertical video like this. This is the recommended way to shoot vertical video from DJI. However, there are a couple of cons when shooting vertical video in this format. You are only going to be able to shoot in 3K and the video is not going to be very wide. There is a better way. So if you take your Osmo and you rotate it as shown, it'll let you take full advantage of the full sensor while capturing vertical video. Another great thing about this trick is you are going to 4K quality instead of 3K when shooting vertical videos. And as you can see here, I get double tap and it is going to actively track me and keep me in the middle of the frame, which is pretty cool. You will also get a wider shot. You also have full control of your buttons while shooting this way. Now let's go home, open Premiere, where I'll show you the difference in quality up close and compare the side-by-side -side shots that we captured. Okay guys, so we are in Premiere Pro now, and the first image that I wanna look at is this image of me walking and talking. I think this is where you're gonna be seeing the biggest difference between the 3K and the 4K. So at first you're just gonna see this simple shot of me walking in as a 16 by nine. And then I overlaid the 3K here. And as you can see, it's pretty close to the shot that you're getting by the 16 by nine. You're really just cropping in on the sides, not a big deal. However, what I did find interesting is it is a little bit wider. So when you put this to full screen, you do see it is a little bit wider than the 16 by nine shot. So they are extending it a little bit, which is pretty cool. I will show you a side by side comparison. Personally, I think the 4K image looks better. I prefer a wider look for a walk and talk. Okay, this next clip we're gonna look at is the bridge. And really this is just to show you guys what it looks like if you're capturing your surroundings. Now, when you look at these two side by side, it really isn't that drastic of a difference. I didn't really notice too much of a difference until I started looking at the buildings in the background. You can see on the 3K image over here that there is a little bit more compression versus the 4K version. And you can see there isn't as much compression and the building in the background does feel very far away. Check this out. I think it is a great feature that comes on the Osmo Pocket 3 and you should be taking advantage of this and shooting in full 4K. As always, thank you so much for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel to learn more. Until next time, peace.